and I'm Lauren. And today we are bringing you how to do a Dutch and bun crown braid bun thing with <laughs> Luxie extensions. How to clip in your extensions and how to do this hairstyle. You can do this hairstyle if you have extensions and also if you don't. I do this hairstyle sometimes too. So we hope that you enjoy and without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, for this tutorial you will need two two clip wefts and four one clip wefts. So we've already brushed out the Luxies and got them all ready to go. The first thing you're going to do, because this tutorial is going to be, it's going to have a crown braid and a bun. So what you're going to do first is you're going to section off the hair for about the span you want the crown to be. Because that hair has to remain separate from the rest of the hair. So you're going to take about a two inch section of hair towards the front and give yourself that space. Behind the ear, I'm not going to leave quite two inches because that would take a lot of this and leave probably five inch. Alright, I think that's pretty good. Good room for a braid to go. Maybe you'll take a little bit more hair for this part. Nah, I'm not going to do This part is like the easiest to add extensions to, so if anything, leave more for the braid part and less for the bun part. But you can do it about like that. And I'm just going to use a couple of bobby pins to pin this up. So what we're going to do first is we're going to use our one clip wefts and we're going to start working on the crown braid. So I'm going to grab the one clip wefts and you have options on the when you're doing this. You can either start on the side and work your way around and only have one braid in the front or you can start towards the front on one side and work and then you'll have tail and you can tuck it behind. And that's what I prefer on myself so I'm going to do that on mom as well. So we're going to start like right above the left eye. And wherever you start, you're going to want to make sure you have plenty of hair to gosh, you can turn, plenty of hair to cover the weft that you're going to clip in. Because you want to start the weft right away to give yourself thickness in your braid. So I think that's a good amount of hair, about like that, to cover the weft. So I'm going to put that back here just so I have it ready. Now you're going to take your one clip weft and you're going to not grab two. <laughs> you're going to grab your first one clip weft and you're going to pin it in in the direction of the crown braid. So you're going to pin it in directly sideways like this. Okay, so we have that pinned in. I'm going to take this, make sure it covers it. It does. And with that, we are going to start. We're going to use this and we're going to start the braid. So you do three and we're going to do a Dutch braid since it's a crown braid. I think, I think Dutch braids are good for crowns. So I'm going to do that. And right away, we're going to start including the boxy extension into this Dutch braid. So for Dutch braid, you go under instead of over. The opposite of a fishtail braid. And whenever we come back around with the tail, that should cover up this part of this clip as well. So grabbing in, make sure whenever you do extensions, you're grabbing the hair and the extension because putting them together gives you that natural blend. And just going around. You can grab fairly big sections because once we're done, we're going to fan it out to give it that volumized effect. Okay, now I've included all the extensions you can tell here. So I'm going to go ahead and add another extension for taking it around because I want it to be nice and full. So, oh, mom's already got it ready. So you're going to take this extension and you're going to do basically the same thing. You're going to clip it in in the direction of the crown braid. This will keep you from, because if you clip it in with the hair, you're going to be tugging on it. But if you clip it in the direction of the crown of the braid, it's going to keep you from having that like tugging on your hair whenever you're braiding it. is all very thick and full. 
once I expand it, it'll look really cool. So, I've got that going. I'm trying to judge how far around. We're going to go ahead and go a little bit farther before we add in another extension because there's a lot of hair down here to do that we can already add in. We don't really Is more tricky because as you can tell the braid is going to go up and around so instead of putting it, putting it down we're going to do the same thing we did over there but here it's kind of like upside down on a slant so we're going to send it in right about there like that add in another extension do Dutch braid, which keeps going. Make sure you do an extension while it's moving. <laughs> like that. And this is where it gets a little bit tricky if you're doing it on yourself. But just make sure that if you need to switch hands, like if you need to switch the way you're holding things, just make sure you keep your three straight. And it's very doable, it just takes practice to do the dutch braid on yourself. So we're going to go ahead and add in our last long clip left here on the side. And we're going to do the same thing we did with the previous long clip left. We're going to put it in like a slant. So we're going to send in the next one. Just bringing it in here like that. So you want to leave some strands out in the front. Towards you get towards the front, and this is where you'll do that. We'll do that just to show you. Move this one out. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, this is what I was talking about. You can turn around. We'll hide that from left too. Okay, so we're to the front, and as you can tell. We have a little bit of hair left over, and that's what I was hoping for because then we can go ahead and braid it about to the end. It doesn't have to be all the way to the end because we're going to expand it. And then we'll be able to wrap it behind so you have a little bit of a doubled effect. And then it also helps you hide this initial extension. So I'm going to bobby pin the end of this, and then we're going to go through and we're going to expand it. This is, this is the fun part. Turn just a little bit. Turn the walk around you. <laughs> okay. So you can see right here where we have our first extension. And we're going to just gradually start expanding our braid. Be sure not to pull too much. Especially the first part is going to be a little bit hard, but because we have that second braid, it'll make up for the fact that this one we won't be able to expand quite as much. all your hair lets you have the fullness of the extensions without the heat of them on your back and you can also do this hairstyle if you don't have extensions I do this hairstyle sometimes and it just gets all the hair off off your back which is really nice because if it's summertime long hair is not always the most pleasant thing to wear around <laughs> hence the bun on top of my head today extension you can still see a little bit so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to you can stay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a bobby pin and I'm going to um, go through with the braid that I did and just clip the braid to the extension so then you can't see it anymore and I'm gonna keep expanding it we're almost done with the expansion part and then we'll move on to the bun that we're gonna create as well the thing is, if you wanted to end it in a fishtail, even up here, you could end it in a fishtail. And you'd have like a second braid tight behind the, behind the dutch. It'd be pretty. But y'all know fishtails take so long. And I don't feel like doing that right now. So we're just going to do dutch. Okay, your turn on. <laughs> I think 
I'm going to get one of those stools that spins. So as you can see, we expanded this as well, and we're just going to lay it right behind here. And I'm going to take the ends, and I'm just going to tuck them under the very first frame. So you have that nice, cute, double dutched, and we're going to pin it. If you wanted to band the end, you can, but I don't think that's really necessary for crown braids. Personal preference. If it, if it makes you feel more comfortable and makes you feel more secure, you side than one. So obviously, if you didn't want to do an extension for this part, depending on the length of your hair, I could just do a bun with her hair because she has a lot of it right here that's all like full and everything. But for the sake of the video, we're going to go ahead and do extensions. So, going to grab our first two clip left, and ours are already brushed out. I just did that. So, you're going to section off. You want there to be enough room with just your natural hair that you can kind of create a little bit of a poof here once we're done. So I'm going to section off about the first, I don't know, what did you say that's about? You can't see it. <laughs> Maybe a third of it. I'm going to section off about a third of it, put it forward. I'm going to clip in the two clip off right here. I got it. So we're going to put two clip off in here, like that, like this, right here. We're going to flip it forward and we're going to put in one more weft, probably about two inches below that one, maybe three inches. So we're going to put that forward too. We're going to put another two glove weft in right here. But since we're doing a bun, we're going to be pulling this up. So we're going to put this one in upside down. That way we don't have any tugging on our hair. So instead of doing it this way, we're going to do it with the clips up. Does that feel okay? Yes. Okay. So then you're going to grab all your hair and your extensions and everything. And see there, that gives it a little bit more length for us to create the bun with. A little bit more volume. We are going to go, you can go as high or low as you want. I'm just going to kind of go in the middle. Just kind of gather it like that. Make sure you've got everything covered the way you want it. And grab a band. I'm just going to use one of these elastics like this. And you're going to grab a band, band it like normal. And then I'm going to just going to, obviously, there's room for this one last time, but instead of pulling it all the way through, I'm just going to pull it most of the way through so that it gives me that initial loop to create a bun with. But for this part, it's just going to be a really messy bun. So you're going to take your hair and you're going to just kind of basically just make it messy. You're going to just take it and fold it and stuff with your fingers. If you wanted to curl it for this, you could, but we're not going to do that today. Because the less heat you use in your hair, the healthier your hair will be. So a trick for whenever you're doing messy buns, if you get a look that you like with it, like if I like this look right here, you can always tweak it afterwards. But in general, you need to put pins wherever your fingertips are because your fingertips are what's holding the bun in place. So like my ring finger is holding this right here up. So I'm gonna put a bobby pin right there. So then that's gonna hold the top in place. A little bit closer to her scalp as we were doing it, but kind of just make your hair work for you, whatever look you all want. I left this out so that y'all could see what it looks like to have hair out. You could do it on both sides. I'm going to pin it up because I'm not. I don't want to curl this hair right now. But this is what it, you can do whenever you're braiding it. You can always leave hair out. So, and then if you decide you don't want it, what you can always do is you can just roll it over your fingers, grab a bobby pin, bobby pin which you rolled, and then just pin it into your brain. And 
sneak it away right there. We hope that you enjoyed this video. And until next time, remember, you, you are beautiful. beautiful.